Hello everyone, I am Ilya Laparev, cellist, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about developing a practice routine that will help you progress and reach your goals as a cellist. We all do know that practice is the only key to improve, but it can be challenging to stay motivated and consistent. So that's why in this video, I will share with you some strategies to help you develop a routine that works for you and keeps you inspired to practice. If this is the first time you come across this channel, welcome, nice to meet you, and it's good to have you here. If you want to see more tutorials like this one or cello technique lessons, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. With that said, let's not wait and let's dive right into it. All right, so before we dive into the strategies, let's talk a little bit why to have a consistent practice routine is important. Consistency builds momentum, helps to develop good habits, and it leads to progress. By creating a routine that works for you, you will have a clear plan to follow and you will be more likely to stay committed to your goals. All right, now let's move into the strategies. First strategy, start with setting up realistic goals. Know what you want to achieve and break that down into smaller achievable steps. Whether it's improving your intonation, bow control, or mastering a new piece, this will help you to stay focused and make progress towards your larger goals. Second strategy, you need to create a schedule. Once you have set up your goals, now it's time to create a practice schedule. This should include the time of the day that works best for you, the length of each practice session, and the specific pieces, etudes, whatever that you're working on. Three, Warm-up exercises. Before starting your practice routine, it is very important that you warm up your muscles and fingers in order to avoid injuries. So I recommend starting with some basic warm-up exercises such as scales, arpeggios, technical exercises to help you develop proper hand positioning and finger strength. Strategy number four, repetition and variation. Repetition is key to build up muscle memory and achieving consistency in your playing. But, however, it is also important that you make variations in order to prevent boredom, so that you don't get bored repeating the whole thing over and over again. You can do this by practicing different exercises and pieces, focusing on perhaps different techniques and experimenting with different tempos and dynamics. Now the next strategy is a very good one and many people are not going to like this. Strategy number five, recording yourself. Recording yourself playing is a really, really good way to follow your progress and identify places or certain passages that needs improvement. You can listen back to recordings and analyze your playing to see where you need to focus your practice sessions. So take your recording, listen to it, Take it with a score, note down what went wrong, then you practice and you will see this is really, really a great tool. Strategy number six, taking breaks, obviously. It's very important to take breaks during your practice sessions to avoid fatigue and to maintain the focus. Taking short breaks every 45 to 60 minutes can help you stay fresh and with full energy during long practice sessions. My conclusion about all this, to develop a cello practice routine is essential, it's very important to improve your technique and to achieve, you know, your musical goals. By setting up goals, to create a schedule, to warm up on a proper way, to make variation into your practice routine, to record yourself and to take breaks, you can develop an effective and uh, consistent practice routine. But always remember that you need to stay motivated, you need to have patience, and be consistent when you're practicing. Well, that was it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.